A slow, steady, consistent weight loss so that I don't have any swing months, so hopefully I never fall below the yellow line. That's what it takes to stay in Toledo's Biggest Loser competition, and Carolyn Gaylord should know. This 43-year-old weighed in for the third season, and this time the scale hit 225 pounds. She's been a finalist for the last two seasons, but this time she wants the title of Toledo's Biggest Loser. Since we've met, uh, I am down right now about 100 pounds or so, and I need to be about 60 more down from where I'm at right now to meet my weight loss goal. So that is where I want to be. She knows what it takes to get through the seven month long weight loss marathon. Carolyn says when she looks at pictures of herself before the weight loss, she says it seems like it's almost another person. It gets me very choked up just to think about, I did this, I did this the right way. I did it through diet, I did it through exercise, and it was my hard work, determination, and being in this competition that has pushed me to where I got. Erin McClellan knows that Carolyn will be a tough competitor, but she likes the competition. Erin is 24 and weighed in at almost 280 pounds. I'm determined. I'm going to lose this weight, and it's going to happen, and I'm so excited, and I'm so pumped. She lost a lot of weight when she was in high school and found a love for being on the color guard. She also made it to the homecoming court. That was probably one of the highlights of my high school days was being on homecoming court. But after high school, she gained it back and even more. With my job, I'm starting to realize that it's harder to be around preschoolers and to be up and down off the floor, sitting in the inside my feet fall asleep, um, you know, those kinds of things. I'm starting to realize that I need to get the weight off. Her overall goal is to lose 150 pounds and she knows it's not just about the workout. She knows she has to change her attitude about food if she wants to lose her 150 pounds. You gotta beat me. I'm a force to be reckoned with. You gotta beat me. <laughs> you probably won't find our next competitor in a huge group workout. Angie Rowan Alls says she's like the lone wolf when it comes to working out. I don't really work out with people too much. I kind of like to get focused, not talk, put my music on. My music motivates me, and I get in the zone. Angie wants to lose at least 75 pounds and needs to learn how to fight through a plateau. But I was working out as hard as possible, and I mean, I was giving it 120%. You just can't give up. I think that's where I've always failed, is I've always just given up. I'm very determined and I'm obsessive about winning, so I'm, we're gonna see what I can do with obsessive about winning the most important thing in my life. Kelly Highgrader, WNWO.